Good morning, everybody. This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So I wanted to show you exactly what happens with these C6 Corvettes when the battery dies. I made a couple of videos showing you guys the voltage and everything else. Well, it's been sitting, hasn't been started in a couple of months because I'm still working on the fuel system. It's been really, really cold here in Michigan. Um, and uh, let me show you a prime example. So I got my key fob in my pocket. This is my spare one with two hard keys, and I'll show you why it's important to have the hard keys and also why sometimes you can get a pretty good deal at the auction because they will zip tie all the keys to the steering column. And on these C6s, this is exactly what happens. Check this out. So I go in, there's a little push button here to prop the door open. Now the first thing that happens is the window will drop down. But look, there's not enough juice to actually open the door because everything is electronic. There's no uh, linkage, there's, there's nothing. Um, so this is what you do. You take your heart key, without me tripping over stuff, come to the trunk, under this license plate lip, you'll see a hard cylinder. This is the only place in this whole vehicle where you can insert a key and actually open the trunk or unlock the trunk. So, let's see here. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. But anyway, as you can see, you turn the key just like old school way and um, the trunk lid will pop open. Then you raise your actual trunk lid. And I've already done this once. <laughs> so as you can see in on the driver's side here, you got two uh, basically pull cables. Let me show you this. One is labeled your driver's door. The other one that's stacked away over here. It's actually um, a pull cable for your um, fuel lid. <laughs> so anyway, this is how it works. You pull on it, and normally it'll kick the door open like this. But let me uh, set you guys down because you actually need two hands. Because what you got to do is you have to pull on this cable and then open the door at the same time. It's pretty accessible. So here it is. Door is open. Now you can, you know, access the car, do whatever you got to do. But obviously in this case, you would just start charging the battery, regardless if it's in the front or the back. Now, if you ask yourself if something happens while you're driving, you actually have um, a same system, a cable system on the driver's side and uh, the passenger side right by the, by the rocker here. You can pull on this and, and accomplish the same thing. Kick your door open if the battery... Um, quits on you or you know you're in an accident so you have access to open uh, your both of your doors from the cabin or the driver driver's side door from the trunk